फाइव सॉफ्टवेयर आर्किटेक्ट दैट यू शुड फॉलो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस फाइव सॉफ्टवेयर आर्किटेक्ट who have done great job created some great works written some great books that we should read so let's start with our first software architect first software architect is jim grady he is very popularly known for coming up unified modeling language unified modeling languages can be used to design blueprints for your system his best work in my opinion his object oriented design and analysis book if you are new to object oriented analysis and design you don't know how to design a system you should definitely read this book when i started my object oriented analysis and design for me it was very very hard i was able to design entity objects okay you des design every class for a noun but when it comes to the mechanism making these classes work together where does this code go that was very hard for me to design the processes classes mechanism classes and i just to go back all way of doing things not using object oriented programming to using procedural based programming again so in this book he dis uh, discusses what are the challenges by programming is complex we programmers and uh, business domain experts we speak different languages that that's again object oriented comes into the picture we should be using domain driven design where we where we where we are using the same terms as business people he gives great examples like of a airplane how in airplane each individual component will fall by itself but when they work together the whole plane flies he talks about the system uh, the all the complex systems have some common attributes they have hierarchies they are built from the simple system for example a car has four wheels there's a relationship you, you, uh, most of the objects belongs to some class templates so it's a great book even though examples are c++ Uh, still it's a good read second architect that we should follow is martin fowler martin fowler is a british software architect he works for thoughtworks his book on uml is great reference guide if you are using uml for designing blueprints of your system this is a very quick read and good reference guide i think his again best work is refactoring you should definitely read his book called refactoring if you got a system you borrowed from inherited from somebody else and the code is doesn't make sense and you're wondering what to do so he gives a number of smell coding smells classes are too too there's too much code in the classes you are passing too many parameters class is doing too much work so you have to identify these smells start from small and keep changes what is refactoring refactoring is you change the structure of the code without changing the behavior of the code so he gives you some good suggestions how you should what steps you should follow to clean up the code he famously said anybody can read a code that can be understood by computers only good programmers write code that can be understood by other programmers his blog site has lot of information about patterns he's writing about current topics he's talking on the youtube so you should follow him on youtube his blog and uh, buy definitely buy his book on refactoring the third architect is uncle bob uncle bob is a very accomplished software engineer he has written lot of books clean code clean programmer clean architecture uh, agile engineering practices i remember when i started working on agile i had lot of gaps i was not sure agile is mature to develop from product initiation to uh, publishing your product to the market he gave us a, a overview how you can use agile practices to from start of the start of the idea to finishing the idea 
he changed our organization how our organization used to work his clean code book is great uh, he if you you wonder what, what should be the practices of a professional software programmers he have good tips for you for your career uh, uh, how to work under stress uh, his solid principles are very very popular i i think in most of the interviews people ask you about solid principles what are the solid principles and uh, they make software development easy again you should follow him by his books anything starts with clean you should follow him uh what he's saying on the youtube the next architect on our list is rockford lechotka rockford lechotka uh, he wrote a lot of books for visual basic for visual basic programmers his books were, were like bible how you design your objects how you need to build how you build a business rule engine and as he dot net technology came and he come came came for a book he came forward a book which has a framework called csla so if you want to know dot net from the start what are the capabilities how to use inheritance how to use interfaces uh his book is great uh, great read uh, great read in this book he explains the differences between layers and tiers how you can have more layers than the tiers how he came with the design that was very controversial lot of people didn't like okay based on which layer which uh, which layer which computer you are the same objects works as business objects and they work as data objects at different layer so a lot of people lot of people did not buy this idea but it was very interesting idea he talked about distributed architecture mobile objects again great concepts if you want to understand more about object oriented programming his work is great and he has some great youtube videos in one video i reviewed was where he was talking about cloud computing what is happening in the cloud computing is very comprehensive video uh, do watch what he is writing on his blog he has great blog uh, great thoughts so another architect that you should follow uh, follow on youtube and read his blog last not the least the architect that you should follow is neil ford i went to neil ford conference and it was amazing conference and uh, he explained why microservices are uh, microservices he ex, he explained why microservices architecture has become so popular their hardware is cheap we have free operating system red hat system so people are saying let's take advantage of free hardware free software build cloud compute cloud environment and this microservices architecture take benefit of these new advances in hardware and uh, free operating system he has written he has written lot of books on architecture like building evolutionary architecture uh, elements of software architecture that uh, elements of software architecture i think elements of software architecture every architect developer should own this book it he it is written from engineering practices is very contemporary very current they talks about what are the responsibility of software architect software architect should definitely be hands on he gives uh, he talks about lot of tools which we can use to make sure that our software architecture is good and is evolving in the right direction is not getting corrupted with the passage of the time so another architect whom you should follow who whose books you should buy and you should see what he's saying so friends today we discussed the five software architects you should follow so if you like this video do watch other videos in the linked list uh, related list also like it share it and subscribe to my channel for your regular updates connect with me on linkedin and twitter especially linkedin if you like small summaries of the video i will be posting lot of small summaries of the video on linkedin thanks again